Have you ever felt like there aren't just enough hours during the day to get things done? One of the key to getting more done isn't about more hours, but better attention management. In this video, we're going to explore attention management and how it can improve your happiness, mental health, and actually your productivity. My name is Diego Basbili and I am a productivity expert here to help you achieve all the fantastic things that you want in your life. If you like no BS advice backed up with some juicy data, consider subscribing to my channel. Not all hours are actually created equally. Two hours of focus time, 9 to 11 a.m. in the morning, is a very different experience than two hours in the evening from 6 to 8 p.m. One is when you're hyper-energized, you're just fresh accessing the most juiciest compartments of your whole mental and physical space. And the other one is after you've done all the work during the day and you pretty much are winding down. But what if you dedicate two hours in the morning where you're the freshest and get bombarded with different notifications from your work and your phone? Let's review this and how it impacts your life. Constantly shifting your attention drains your mental energy bank and also leaves a bit of residue from the previous task when you move to another task. This phenomenon is called multitasking and it can reduce your productivity as much as by 40% on average. Also, when you get interrupted while doing your task, it'll take you approximately 23 minutes to get your brain working back again into the previous state. And that's a lot of actually time wasted in my opinion. This isn't the first time you heard about the impact of multitasking. So if we know multitasking isn't good for us, why do we still do it? Aren't we like smart enough to understand these kind of things? Primarily the kind of two reasons, the excitement of new information and the fear of missing out. Human beings are naturally curious and we always crave a bit of new information, you know, like, like popcorn, you just can't stop, or like the Dorito chips, you just want to always have new information. When we get this new information, we get a juicy hit of dopamine right into our head and feel like, oh, something is buzzing, it makes us feel excited. It's kind of like a reward for expressing our curiosity. But when we're constantly seeking this kind of reward of dopamine, it can lead to a cycle of distraction and actually derail us from our goal. The second reason is fear of missing out and pretty much is because we either don't want to miss out on some important meeting or information in our work or we don't want to miss out on some invite or exciting adventure in our personal lives. That's why we constantly are scrolling and making sure we're up to date with all this information. You are not the fire brigade. If you don't respond to a Slack message right away, nobody's gonna die. Nothing is gonna happen. So how can we break this cycle of constantly shifting our attention? It's all about taking control of your environment and setting boundaries. Let's start with the phone. First of all, put your phone into the not disturb mode, okay? It's a simple setting available both on iPhones and Androids. Don't worry, you'll still get your calls and your WhatsApp calls, but what it will do is it will mute 95% of your common notifications. But don't just stop there. While you're working, remove your phone out of sight. Studies have shown just by simply removing your phone out of your sight, you reduce the urge to actually go and check it. Kind of like out of sight, out of mind. And what's really cool, it, it actually works. Like I've been doing this for a long time now. It's amazing how, what kind of easy hack it is. Just out of your vision and you don't have the urge to check it. Fantastic, easy, 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 easy. These things are not complicated to do, you just, you just need to do them. Let's talk about your work environment and your computer notifications such as Slack, email, Teams, all those kind of things that constantly try to grab your attention. Now again, you might feel that you really need to be available all the time, enjoy all the meetings and respond to all the messages right away, but I can promise you that nothing catastrophic will happen if you don't respond right away. I mean this, I'm not telling you this because I just think it's a good idea. I've tried it in my own work environment. And by the way, I work in a very active and fast paced job as an operations manager. And yet somehow not responding right away hasn't destroyed my career. If anything, it has improved my career because when I pay attention at something, I am able to give the right attention the right solution versus talking to you and at the same time, every five seconds, a notification Slack or email comes up and then look down and up and up and down. And so what I recommend to you is go ahead and disable your Slack, your Outlook notification, Teams, Google Calendar, all of that stuff. What you want to do instead is you want to open your calendar and in the calendar block time, 15, 20 minute sprints, three times per day, where you then open Outlook 
and you process this stuff there and you reply to the emails or you apply to your Slack message. But that way, at least, your brain can disengage from trying to tell you, hey, you need to check, you need to check. You're like, no, 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 no. See that time freak me out? That's when I'm checking my outlook. That's when I'm checking my Slack. And this way, you release the tension and you can focus at the things at hand. This way, you're kind of saying, oh, I'm still connected, but just on my own terms rather than being reactive. In conclusion, by adopting these strategies, you're able to get more things done in the same amount of time because you're not getting pulled right or left during your workday because of those crazy notifications from your phone or your computer, Slack, Teams, and so on. I really want to emphasize again that you should try out those strategies because they made a huge difference in my life and I'm sure if you give them a try, they will also make a phenomenal difference in your life as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to have more of this kind of chit chat, fun, productivity experience, consider subscribing and joining the fun. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. DM me, send me post-it notes, telepathic messages, whatever you prefer, your method of communication. Let's hear it. Have a good day. Bye-bye. If you really want to improve your focus time, don't let your cat go inside your recording and destroy every second video because that's not very productive, isn't it, cat?